Hey there, before we start the video, I just wanted to let you know that if you see anything in this video that you really like, you can go to MetallicaMom.com, Google it, type it in, whatever you need to do, and then once you get to MetallicaMom.com, if you don't see what you're looking for, all you have to do is hit that little button on the bottom right corner, and you could chat directly with me. Anything you type in there, it goes right to my cell phone. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. I just turned off my ceiling fan. That'll slowly stop. <laughs> Um, yes, I am doing an empties video again already. I, I have a ton of empties. What did I put on empty video? Empties video like a week ago. And I have this bag full. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly empty this bag. Hey, I'm going to slowly empty this bag and then sort of like lay it out. Hold on. Dismiss. I'm just going to sort of lay it out for you. Okay. I do have most of the descriptions here, I think. Let's see, it's slowing down. I have most of the descriptions here. So we'll start with the biggest thing, this Mama Jama. This is a perfectly pomegranate scentsy brick that I had got with one of my club orders. I don't really know why I opted for this. Right now, this was the last of any brick that I have. And one of the reasons why I started to use it was because there was a crack in here somewhere and this had leaked all over the place, even though the, the wax was perfectly dry and beautiful. But somehow, some way, it leaked red oil all over my shit. It was like so ridiculous. Um, I have no idea how that happened. I wasn't planning on using this brick, but you know what? It reintroduced me to Perfectly Pomegranate, which I absolutely love. Pomegranate with a sweet berry finish. That's all it's described as. Um, fantastic it was a great brick i was i'm kind of glad that i ended up having to use it um a third of a cube in each warmer was perfect half of a cube in my bathroom was really perfect really really good effective fragrance for like two or three days okay um i've recently had to change around all of the warmers because of my bathroom my bathroom has become the most difficult room to fragrance and I'm not even trying to be funny about that. Um, I had to take away the jeweled something. I'll put a picture of it here. And I had to put in the gray. I didn't have to, but I chose to get one of the glossy gray curve warmers because it comes with the five free bars. Yeah. So I did that because of the free wax. And it is really a perfect warmer for my bathroom. It's got a huge, big, deep dish. Except it does have corners. I can't stand square dishes because it doesn't go in the corner. Anyway, there's a ton of wax in here. Okay, so we're going to talk about Enchanted Mist. I'm going to be doing a full video about uh, Bring Back My Bar tomorrow because we only have two and a half days as of right now. I'm filming this at 4 o'clock in the afternoon on the 28th. So we've only got two days plus a couple of hours to get your Bring Back My Bar. And even if you haven't experienced them yet, even if you don't want to order them right now, you can always put them into your Sunday Club. And then you can get them once in your Scentsy Club, and then you can make that decision if you want to keep it in there or not. Enchanted Mist is nice. Um, uh, a, a little forgettable, but actually I liked it a lot. An Enchanted Mist. Juicy apples sweetened by rose petals and rich jasmine. Really nice in my living room. Very, very nice, but a little bit unforgettable. I'm sorry, a little bit forgettable. So I'm trying to say silhouette. Oh my God. This either is in the clearance section right now or was in the clearance section for about three weeks. I got two bars, I warmed one bar, and I put one bar into my stash, and oh my god, I love it. I like it more in the clamshell than I did warming it. Warming it, it needed a little bit more. I have three warmers in my bedroom. I put one cube in each warmer, and that wasn't quite enough, so then I put the rest, the other uh, five, into my warmers, and that was the key to warming this in my bedroom. Loved it. Heliotrope. And orange blossoms with whispers of lavender and patchouli. I don't know what heliotrope is. I guess I'll look it up, but whatever. Summer rain. Um, I remember this was a... Summer rain was a scent of the month. Eh, it's a very aquatic fragrance. Wasn't really my gig. I did like it uh, the next day. Um, it was never really super duper powerful. And um, just sort of kind of boring. If, you, if you're familiar with how aquatic scents smell, that's this. I don't have the description. Maybe I'll put it here. 
Maybe I won't. I don't know. Whatever. Inner Peace, I like this a lot. Although, I think my husband said that this smells a little bit like a urinal cake. And I can see that. I don't have the description. It's a little bit lemony. It's a lot lemony. It's like lemon and soap mixed together. If, if, if they could. It's almost like ivory soap. If they added a lemon aspect to ivory soap, that's what Inner Peace smells like. Okay. There's going to be a lot of the bring back my bars in here. Zeppelin. I never warmed this in the common areas of my house. I warmed this only in my teenage boys' bedrooms because it smells like, oh, I think it has like leather and stuff like that. Yeah, it smells like suede. Uh, it smells like a dude. It's really a dude fragrance, which is, you know, all well and good, but not in my living room. I'm not into it. My only sunshine. Uh, tuberose and jasmine and sandalwood and blah, 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 blah. Ah, very, very boring. Very boring. I usually love anything with jasmine in it, but if it's not strong enough and I don't smell the jasmine, then it can fuck off. Okay. Um, I guess this is kind of like a bring back my bar. Ah, whatever. Um, Simply Irresistible. Again, this was warmed in my kids' room. Uh, not into it. Simply Irresistible was very masculine. Lavender with a strong woody background of amber moss and musk. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I switched this up in my teenage boys' rooms. Wasn't my ideal thing. All right, uh, we'll break it up and this is not uh, in the Bring Back My Bar. This is cucumber and cactus water. Oh my God. Summer collection. Okay, crisp cucumber wades into refreshing cactus water and sea salt. This is not as cucumbery as aloe water and cucumber. Uh, I like this a lot. I liked it more when I was warming it than when I was smelling it in the clamshell like this. Um, if you're afraid of cucumber like I am, I'm not really afraid of cucumber. I just don't prefer it. Uh, you might like this. So I would strongly suggest giving cucumber and cactus water a try. Forever Yours. I don't think that this is as good as some people say. <laughs> Okay, it was uh, stronger than I thought it was going to be. Sweet, creamy lemon and enchanted jasmine. There's jazz, jasmine again. And enchanted jasmine, a rhapsody of devotion. Eh. Like I said, it was stronger than I thought it was going to be, but I don't think it was, um, I don't think it was all so great. Not also, all so great. Buckleberry, if you follow me on Facebook, you know that I made a little graphic. I mixed buckleberry with French toast and it was amazing. <laughs> Oh my God, if you have those two fragrances, put them together right in the warmer, not like one in one warmer and one in another warmer, put the waxes together and experience it. It was really interesting. A bite of summer's bounty, bursting fresh berries atop a buttery blanket of crumbly coffee cake. It really did smell like those two things together. I, I warmed them together. I didn't warm them separately at all <laughs> because French toast is way too much bakery for me. French toast is very buttery and eggy and this cut that, okay? In other words, it cut that egginess. Love and happiness. I like this sort of. Um, I put this right in with Forever Yours. Love and happiness. Um, a glazed chestnut, vanilla, and sugar cane. Strong enough, but eh. Uh, the chestnut th sort of throws me off. I'm not really into the chestnut thing quite so much. The fragrance doesn't match the color of the bar, in my opinion, okay? Because chestnut is kind of like this color, <laughs> okay? Uh, but, oh my God, I told you I was going to talk about this. Blonde Wood and Moonflower did go into my Scentsy Club. Out of all of these, none of these... Oh, this went into my Scentsy Club. And this went into my Scentsy Club. And oh my God, Blonde Wood and Moonflower, where have you been my entire life? Uh, it is right up my alley. It is uh, Pale Warm Wood and Amber Envelop Demure Moonflower, Delicate White Roses, and Upturned Lilies in a Modern Magical Fragrance. Give me a break. But it's fantastic. Oh, it's just so romantic. It's such a bedroom scent. I absolutely love it. I will now never be without it. Sunburst Bamboo. You didn't hear anything about this because it was completely forgettable. Uh, this was a scent of the month. I don't even remember when. Um, and it was so unfor... Not, again, it was so forgettable. Not unforgettable. Unforgettable. That was the song that I danced with my father to at my first wedding 
And because I say my first wedding, that means that there was another wedding after that, which was great because I married my current husband and that sounds like I'm a total slut. But my first wedding, I consider it my practice wedding. And now that song is completely ruined forever, especially because my father is now extremely sick. And every time I hear it, not that I hear it all that often, I get kind of melancholy because he was uh, very healthy at the time. And I just wish it was a better memory. You know what I mean? Because I don't like to think about my first wedding because I feel like it was the shitty wedding. Well, let's get personal. Okay. Sunburst Bamboo is a uh, crisp cucumber and peony. Gee, I wonder why I hate it. It's got a lot of cucumber in it. And I had this bar. It, oh, I hate it. I hate it. I mixed it with stuff because I, I, I didn't like it very much. Okay. Uh, and it was also very light. French Kiss. I took this out of my Scentsy Club. Oh, my God. Did you ever think that I was going to be taking French Kiss out of my Scentsy Club? Well, I did. In fact, it's now not even in my list because I took it out of my Scentsy Club. Hold on. Is it here? French Kiss. Sweet Fig. Coconut Pulp. Exotic Cedar. Caesar? Exotic Cedar and Caramel. I love fig. Love anything with fig. In fact, I had Midnight Fig in my, um, in my Sensi Club for a hot second and I took it out because I'm, I'm past the fig thing. I still love this fragrance, but it's so light compared to when it first, when I first experienced it back in 2016. Um, I first experienced it back in 2016. It was in a, uh, I bring back my bar campaign in the wintertime in November, December, somewhere around there. Used to be November and May, and now it's in December and June. Anyway, whatever. Uh, that's when I experienced French, French Kiss for the first time, and I absolutely loved it. And as soon as it was in a Bring Back My Bar, as soon as it had come back and a Bring Back and Bring Back My Bar was was a thing, I put it in there. And it's just not what I remember it. It's not as good as I remember it. So no, that actually it, that went away. Okay, French Kiss. Bye bye. Here's the French toast. Um, this, it, it, does that look familiar? Bring back my bar. Have it over here. Um, and I think, do I have another one that looks old? No, I don't, not in this one. But yeah, this was a bring back my bar from I think that same campaign that I experienced this for the first time. Um, so this was a very old bar, but it was so super strong. It didn't matter that it was old and it also didn't leak at all. It was dry as a bone, as you can see right there. Um, French toast, as opposed to French kiss, is like you can take, you can smell the butter, you can smell the egg, you can smell the bread, you can smell the maple syrup. It was really interesting. And like I said, mixed with the buckleberry, it was fantastic. Flower child. I remember somebody talking about Flower Child being like one of their favorite, oh, who, who the hell was she? She was this girl who used to be on YouTube. She used to be a Scentsy consultant. You guys are gonna be screaming her name. And then she decided to open up her own wax thing, uh, Ella, Ella After something or other. I never ordered anything from her. I, I thought that her videos were interesting. Um, she was quite annoying in, in my opinion with the glasses and always pull, pulling the glasses up onto her face, but I, I, I liked her opinions about things. So, and she shit all over the, the Scentsy Go when it first came out because it wouldn't run in her car because she was in the middle of bunfuck nowhere and it was too cold for the fan to go and she was shitting on it because of that. And I'm like, girl, <sighs> And then I feel like she kind of quit Sensi because she she wasn't really working her business. But then she ended up uh, starting her own business. So, hey, I'm not calling her lazy or anything like that. I just, whatever. Oh, my God. I don't know if she, if she watches this video. She's going to think that I'm a anyway, Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> See you next Tuesday. I will edit out that. Anyway, she loved Flower Child, I believe. Now, Flower Child um, never... Um, made me um happy or anything but whatever whatever floats your boat sweet red berries layered over wild gardenia and sandalwood eh, whatever eh, i didn't think it was so exciting whatever and i have one more clamshell and that's bamboo yuzu and this actually ends up being one of my favorites not favorite enough to put it into my sensi club but i did like bamboo yuzu a lot and i liked it because it lasted not necessarily because of what it smelled like um, it is, 
uh, dewy bamboo, tranquil lotus flower, and fresh yuzu with a hint of sage. I think it's the sage that I like. I don't know what it was, but I really did like this. And I remember that the last time I warmed it, the last time I experienced bamboo yuzu, I thought it was quite boring. And now I like it. So I think I have one of these in my stash for myself to use. And um, I, it's not going to go into my Sensi Club. My Sensi Club is ridiculous right now. Okay, this is a perfectly, po again, perfectly pomegranate. Uh, this is a perfectly pomegranate scent pack because I buy these rolls of plastic bags and I have a little waste basket in every room of my house and underneath the bag underneath the, the liner of the waste basket I keep a scent pack and so every time I have to change the roll because I keep the roll underneath the roll of waste paper basket liners I keep the roll underneath so that I'm never looking for bags to reline my waste paper basket and the scent pack scents the entire roll of plastic liners. Does that make sense? Sense. Ha. Huh. Um, I, I threw away the scent pack. I don't know why. Um, okay, watermelon tangerine. I either got this for free or something. I don't remember why I bought this. Maybe I was trying to hit 200 in a party so I can close it out. So I just threw a soap in there. I don't remember. Not like me to just buy an individual soap. Maybe it was a three pack. I don't remember. Anyway. Watermelon Tangerine is, I actually really like it. Um, I like it a lot in the body cream. I liked it in this, eh. Uh, and I think I have a fragrance mist in my stock that I have not um, broken out yet. Anyway, do I need to tell you what Watermelon Tangerine smells like? Probably not. Okay, uh, this is an aloe water and cucumber pod. This can kiss my ass. I put it in my car. I did not like it. I don't even know why I bought it. I don't even know why I opened it up. So now I've got all of these testers. I don't know if I have the descriptions for them. Yesterday, this is basically, these were all used in the past 24 hours, believe it or not, because it's not a lot of wax, okay? Um, yesterday, I went through all of my testers, all, okay? I haven't bought testers in about two years, maybe three Probably two. Um, do I buy transition testers? I didn't even buy transition testers last year. Anyway, we have so many that come and go with the seasons and then they come back again that like I haven't bought testers. And plus, by the way, I haven't had a party. Okay. I haven't been to a Scentsy party, a home party in a really long time. So right now, testers are not part of my business. And like I said in my last video, I don't have bad sales. I just don't really need to have testers right now. So I'm, I'm blowing through testers. Now, the reason why these didn't go into my discontinued bag and the reason why these aren't in my current tester kit which by the way I still have a huge kit if somebody came over and said I want to smell the, the scents I still have hundreds of testers okay that are current um because if you buy them every year you end up building up duplicates you know what I'm saying these were all leaky disgusting messes and they were cracked and some of them cracked just from sitting in a, a, a cool closet and they just ended up cracking anyway we're just gonna blow through these I don't have the descriptions I'm not taking the time to do that this is a uh, and I mixed them all together it was like garbage soup going on and it still is in my living room and in my bedroom uh Havana Cabana is current right now going away uh let's get punchy you might as well just go with paradise punch smells like um fruit punch whatever uh summer holiday holy shit i mixed summer holiday with bonfire beach in my bedroom a day and a half ago so it was like one o'clock in the afternoon yesterday it's 4 10 right now oh my god it's time for a drink um these two together are fantastic and if you go onto facebook or instagram right now you will see that i made a graphic about mixing summer holiday and bonfire beach and it smells like like a smoking hot lifeguard Oh, it's something about the flint and the marshmallow and the amber and oh my God, so good. Simply Vanilla, Berry of Paradise. L listen to this combo. Which, which, what else did I mix there? There was three that I mixed together and they were so good. Oh, Sangria. Oh my God. Oh my God, this was so good. Sangria is from a long time ago. Is this Sangria? No, this is Pretty and Plum. I have a Sangria. Hold on. 
Where's my sangria? Oh, I might have thrown that one out. Anyway, it was sangria. Oh my God, sangria was so good. Grape and Bing cherry together. And then the berry of paradise, which is basically like raspberry and bird of paradise. And then simply vanilla, which actually has some coconut milk in it. Holy moly. So good. I can't read that. Sorry. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Pretty and Plum. I remember liking this a lot. I think this was in a Bring Back My Bar. That's why it's this little tester. Pretty and Plum. I don't know if it's Pretty and Plum or Pretty and Plum because I don't have my glasses. Pretty and Plum. Okay, there we go. So now I guess I could read that if I actually use the viewfinder. Uh, that's another Havana Cabana. Okay. Uh, Holly Berry Cinnamon actually went into the bathroom. I feel like Christmas scents do really well in the bathroom because the pine is very clean. Mixed that with Eskimo Kiss and I had two of those, which is just basically minty, sort of smells like fall and not fall. What am I saying? Sort of Eskimo Kiss sort of smells like snow. Okay. My Hero is nice. Um, this is current right now and it's actually leaving the catalog, which, and it's been in the catalog since Father's Day two years ago. So this is a good one if you like the masculine says, try out my hero. Mickey Mouse and Friends, completely forgettable. This is actually a blue wax, but um, some of these leaky ones leaked next to it. Un completely forgettable. I came out saying unforgettable. Completely forgettable. Oh Boy is another forgettable um, Disney fragrance fruity but that's all i can say about that um marvel nine realms blue tea lavender lightning and something else don't remember um we still have this in like everything anytime marvel something comes out we get more of these kind of products i remember liking the um car bar a lot in this fragrance this marvel nine realms Johnny Appleseed, great. You can literally mix Johnny Appleseed with anything. But I really like mixing Johnny Appleseed or any kind of apple fragrance with grass. Very nice. Also, vanilla is very nice. And caramel is very nice. If you're not into the bakery stuff, apple tones that down. And then we've got Dumbo Circus Parade. Bullshit fragrance. Smells kind of like a creamsicle. I hate it. I hate it. It's disgusting. Anyway. <laughs> there is another another empties video for you. I hope you all have a great day. 24 minutes. I'm probably going to cut one or two minutes out of this and I'm going to cut out when I say the C word and I'll talk to you guys later. And I am going to be making a bring back my bar video tonight or tomorrow morning. And it's going to go up and it's just going to be me going through the graphics and talking to you about basically all the same shit that I talked about today. So if you like listening to me talk, you'll have another 20 minutes of that tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye.